The Wolfpack got a win over the weekend. Without offense, kind of. Uh, they beat Northern Illinois, which is the most important deal, right? You got to win the games you're supposed to win, and they're now three and two. And uh, you know, if, it, realistically, at the beginning of the year, if you told me they were three and two, winning the three games they won and losing the two games they lost, and, and you didn't tell me the score, I think that's kind of one of the realistic options. Now, the scores are what make you worried. Western Carolina, Louisiana Tech, Northern Illinois didn't win by enough. Clemson. Obviously, going back to Tennessee, lost by too many. This one was different, though. NC State beat Northern Illinois, and you celebrate every win. But today better be a really tough, meaning today, Monday, better be a really tough day for the offense. NIU, which, by the way, on a day the the state defense played very well. Uh, At least the defense responded, and, and to use the... Uh, meme from the last dance, right? They took it personal. Uh, at least they took it personal after the Clemson game. They showed up ready to play, ready to to uh, make their presence known. That's good. But on a day where the defense played well, NIU still outgained NC State 279 to 171 in total yardage. They still outgained NC State 159 passing yards, which is not many, to 108 passing yards by State, which is even less. 120 rushing yards for NIU to 63 rushing yards for State. This is a day where your defense played well and your offense was getting beat in every major category aside from one. Turnovers. Uh, State won the turnover battle 4-0, which allowed them to win the game, which allowed them to to have something to rest their hat on. This is a win that for 24 hours is just a win. And then it becomes not a normal win. Then it becomes one that you have to atone for, that you have to answer for. Dave Doran after the game said, you, you you know, don't be mad about winning. We have the uh, the audio here for you. Uh, here's Dave Dorn. We're playing a freshman quarterback, and you know, we're putting a lot on that kid's shoulders, a lot. And I'm proud of CJ for taking care of the football today. But we have a lot of growth there, you know. At the end of the day, I'm proud of our offense for not turning the football over. And I know people are upset we didn't have enough yards, this, that, and the other. Don't be mad about winning. Don't be mad about winning. That was a hell of a team win. No, no, you can be two things at once. No one's mad about winning. They're mad that you put up 171 yards of total offense. Happy about winning. Mad about uh, some of the production. Matter of fact, I'll even go with this, right? Don't be mad about winning. Don't be mad about winning. I agree. You shouldn't be mad about winning on Saturday. I disagree on Monday. Today, and by the way, those comments were made on Saturday, so maybe, you know, Sunday turned the page and, and you know, started getting more angry, so I'm not holding uh, out the possibility on that. But, like, by today, you watch that game, you should be a little frustrated. You should be a little angry. The running game is still stagnant. Casey Concepcion hasn't made a big play in darn near a month. Scoring touchdowns still, but but the yardage isn't there. The, the dynamic playmaking that you need from him, whether it's by – uh, defense is scheming to take him away, whether it's by offensive play calling not taking, uh, making him a priority by the quarterback that's not able to get him the ball, whatever it is. Casey Conception, I mean, just not enough touches, not enough production for what I consider one of the best wide receivers in the country. It was good to see Noah Rogers make some plays, but you, you need both. You need all. You need Joe Lee. You need Waters. You need Smothers. You need them all. Celebrate the win. But also get ready. And and by the way, every college athlete has felt that. Where you you know, after the game, maybe you're out with your buddies, maybe you're hanging with your family, and it's all smiles, but in the back of your head, you're mm-hmm. film is not gonna be fun on whatever, you know, whatever all, your off day is the other, right? So either Sunday or Monday. I was um by the way, check out the uh, Pack Therapy podcast. You'll have we'll have a uh, a new one coming out uh Later this week, myself, Mike Lennon, talking NC State football. And um, <laughs> I talked about this with Mike the other day. There's no worse feeling than watching film and everyone's happy-go-lucky and you know like five plays in the future, you make a really bad decision. And, and coaches sitting there, uh, all right, on, on the right, you're five plays before the bad decision. 
and and all right, you know, hey, let's let's clean up this footwork. Your left foot's a little wide on this handoff, and in your head, you're going like, forget my footwork. <laughs> Get, get to the bad decision I make five plays into the future. Stop making me wait. I think there should be a lot of that for the state offense. And it's not just C.J. Bailey, by the way. It's offensive line. It's running backs. Some of the wide receivers. Like, it's it's not just the freshman quarterback ma- making freshman plays. And, and by the way, if you were protecting him that much against NIU, no disrespect to NIU, but you play in a Power Four conference. You play in a Power Four conference. Let the freshman spread his wings a little bit. Let him let him go against NIU a little bit. And I get being conservative and not turning the ball over, and your defense was getting turnovers, and I love it. I love that. But part of it isn't just getting a win against Northern Illinois. Part of it also is this is the last game before your schedule turns to an ACC schedule. Northern Illinois, September 28th, this upcoming Saturday, October 5th, Wake Forest, then the following Saturday, October 12th, Syracuse, and then you're at Cal, then Stanford, then Duke, then Georgia. It's 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 real now. Now, unless they have some kind of advanced knowledge that Grayson McCall is going to be cleared this week, and and unless they have some kind of advanced knowledge of that and and um they know for a fact they're going to turn to Grayson McCall. That Northern Illinois game was also the final tune-up for your freshman quarterback to be ready uh, to come from behind if Wake Forest scores early. Hank Bachmeyer, the uh, the quarterback for Wake, that Wake might not be the scariest team in the world, but their offense can put up some points. They've lost some games in some shootouts. If you get behind, your freshman quarterback's going to have to drag you out of that. And I would have liked to have seen him connect with Casey Concepcion a few times on, on plays that might strike some fear into the other team. Again, a 24-17 victory, you never complain. Your leading rusher was your quarterback. He had 22 yards. Yeah, that's not ideal. I don't think it's outlandish or or it's, you know, the the don't be mad about a win. It's, all right, well, first of all, don't, don't tell us what we can be mad about. There's 22 yards for your quarterback, and that was your leading rusher against a group of five team. I know, a good group of five team. I got gotcha. you. They beat Notre Dame. Fantastic. I don't care if they're a good power five team. Your leading rusher should have more than 22 yards. Mm-hmm. So so there's there's two sides of the story. Unfortunately, I don't have a show on uh, Saturday. So I'm, I'm like, hey, yeah, celebrate all good vibes on a Saturday after the win. I agree with that. Don't You can't get me down. You can't rain on my parade from, from Saturday to about halfway through Sunday. But when you sit down with the truth goggles and you really watch on Sunday – or on Monday morning or whenever the players first get their crack at the, the film with coaches, that's got to be a not – you got to be mad. You have to be mad about that. And frustration's warranted. Yes. Like, you can be happy that you won and still frustrated with how you got there. Both yes. things and, can and be if, true. And if you want to draw a line in, uh, between mad and frustrated, fine. Yeah. You say, no, 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 don't be mad about the win. Be frustrated. Fine. Sure. All right, I don't, I don't make that, that distinction. It's no different than after, like – the Clemson game, I wasn't very mad at the offense. Pretty mad at the defense, right? I was actually giving the offense some credit. The silver lining was C.J. Bailey played well and all of these things. Uh, this one, it's a, it's a role reversal. I'm not that mad at the defense. Offense, I think, could have used a, a little bit more pep in their step. And now you have ACC action starting this week to uh, prove that you fixed it. And you have to prove that you fixed it. 